and welcome to the Unstoppable Indians. Every week, we take a journey into the life of an outstanding Indian, a person whose talent, acumen, or moral example is transforming India. The best, the finest from every field join me, Manvi Dhillon, on this show to share their life story, their journey to success, some of the knocks along the way, what made them get up and keep going, what makes them an unstoppable Indian. My guest today is Asia's leading development journalist. His canvas of work is too large to describe in a few seconds, but I'll try. In his 28-year career as a journalist, P. Sainath has won over 35 global and national awards for his reporting, including the 2007 Ramon Magasese Award. His book, Everybody Loves a Good Drought, is in its 19th print and is teaching material at over 100 universities in India and overseas. Sainav covered 100,000 kilometers across India while working on Everybody Loves a Good Drought. His next project was on Dalits. That meant another 150,000 kilometers across the country. His most recent work has been on the devastation of Indian agriculture. Detailed reports from the households of landless laborers and marginal farmers across the country. Some call his work the conscience of the Indian nation. Others regard him as incorrigible, incorruptible, often infuriating. The most irreverent voice in Indian journalism. That is P. Sainath. P. Sainath, it's a pleasure to have you on The Unstoppable Indians. I know you uh, like your anonymity, and therefore I have to say an extra special thank you for that. My pleasure. Okay. On an average, you spend what, between 270 to 300 days a year on the road in rural India. What is it about India and rural India that has such a hold on you? Well, I love the place. I enjoy it. I don't suffer the job. Um, it's a good, I mean, I, I, you know, you can hang around pretending to work and get paid for it. So I have that privilege in my job. Um, I get to see places that I would otherwise never get to. I get to meet people I would otherwise never get to. And it's an astonishingly diverse country. You know, I mean, there's a, I'm on my way now to Orissa. Uh, there's a road from Bhavani Patna and Kalahandi, which goes all the way through Rayagada, into Koraput, and into Andhra Pradesh. A journey down that road, you can, if you are patient, run into 30 or more unique languages on one road. That's India. There are parts of India, Orissa, for example, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, there are parts that draw you more than others. Well, I like Orissa a lot. It's a very pretty and beautiful state. But uh, what draws me really is the issue. You know, if you're, focusing on, uh, if you're focusing on hunger, that's going to take you more to some places than others. If you're focusing on the farm crisis, on the agrarian crisis, that's going to keep you in places like Maharashtra. It's going to keep you in places like Andhra Pradesh or Karnataka, because that's where the major crisis is. I mean, if you look at the, uh, say, from 97 onwards, you've had 182,000 farmers commit suicide in this country. That's at the rate of almost one every 30 minutes. However, two thirds of these farm suicides have occurred in five states. Now, those five states are big, but they account for only one third of the country's population, but two thirds of its farmer suicides. I know that the farmer suicides, and you've, you've underlined this again and again, they are the fallout of the agrarian crisis. 